Hey golfers, gonna give you the quick tutorial on using your ripstick. Number one, make sure you have plenty of space. The indoor model is great if you have a lower ceiling, it's around 38 inches and it'll be good. It's more like seven or eight iron length. So like an eight foot ceiling, you probably can train with it. Uh, if you're going with the full 45 inch uh, model, you need to make sure you have plenty of space. Don't, you know, hit lights, hit walls, hit TVs, make sure you're spaced out really well. Number two is make sure you know how to use the weights really well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quickly. Zoom in a little bit. Hold it like this and then unscrew the cap and you only have to unscrew it a little ways. It's on a threaded um, threaded little screw here. If you go too far, it actually goes up the shaft. Um, so then you can secure it back down. You only need to turn it a little ways. If you go too tight with it, then it can actually lock up a little bit, but you should be able to twist it back and just find that it's um, you know fairly secure. And then just give it a little cap, twist, and you can take these weights out, push at the bottom of the weight, and they will come right out like so. If you want to put them back in, literally just takes you seconds. It's the most convenient, fastest way to change weights that you can find. Um, there are some holes on the bottom of the ripstick, believe it or not. Some people have decided to put them in here. Just don't do that. You know, you're creating a projectile that can go pretty fast. It's not going to be safe. Um, so just make sure you put them in the, the correct slot. These are sound holes, which are what gives it a great swishing sound. And you don't want that sound uh, created uh, with a weight in there because you're going to create something dangerous. Other than that, it's super safe. Um, we haven't had any injuries reported with ripstick as a result of putting the weights in wrong at all. So there you go. Lock it, load it. The counterweight cap, you can twist this. And as you turn that, it'll just come right out. For the most part, we just recommend keeping the counterweight cap in. I think especially as you have a lot of weight in the ripstick, you're gonna find that it's just better to, uh, better to have that in. It makes it more balanced and it kind of equalizes the swing weight a little bit. So just keep that counterweight cap in there most of the time unless you have a specific reason to take it out. Last point, make sure you don't hit the ground with the ripstick. It's not designed to hit the ground. And so we recommend swinging about eight inches in the air best way to train with the ripstick. So even when you're on the ground, that's particularly important. Don't hit the ground, swing above it, and you're good to go. Last thing is I'd recommend getting a radar. We've got the RIP radars, which are great tools for recording your results and uh, tracking your progress. And if you do that, you'll be more motivated to train hard. If you have any questions about how to use the RIP radar or the ripstick at any point, reach out to us. We are here to help. Make sure your training is very successful and fun as you hit the ball a little farther for the next year.